name's Peter Bomfield. I'm the Chief Executive of Building Research Establishment, BRE, and I'm also a trustee and Vice President of the Institution of Engineering and Technology, the IET, where one of the functions I perform is I chair our Membership and Professional Development Board and help look after our 167,000 members based in the UK and around the world. Now, diversity and equalities is something I care hugely about. In my company, we were really focused on gender diversity, on ethnicity diversity, on part-time, full-time working, a whole array of different um, aspects which make us strong. They give us diversity of thinking, they give us a whole array of different perspectives and strengths which we harness together, and that's been a key, been a key element of our company's growth and success. And similarly in IET, we have a diverse range of members from all around the world and we do all we can to embrace that diversity and again, embrace it in a way that makes our engineering profession stronger. But about six months ago, one of our members in IET, uh, a chap called Brian Reynolds, came to me and he said, well, what, what, what about dyslexia? He said, I have dyslexia. There are an array of members who also have dyslexia and we are disadvantaged in some ways. We have characteristics that mean that becoming chartered or finding our way through our professional body or getting on in our companies can be quite difficult and quite challenging and it doesn't have to be so if only people understood that better and knew some of the things to do about it. So through my role at IET we ran a workshop about six months ago. We gathered together a number of dyslexics at different levels of dyslexia. We gather together our IT people, um, our membership people and others to really think about, so what practically can we do? And we found things like having YouTube videos, having uh, less moving images on websites, changing colour, were practical things that could be done. And then we found too that if people were more open to diversity, then in terms of career progression and things like that, then things became much better. Because unlike gender, Unlike an eth ethnicity, unlike age, you can't physically look at somebody and know they're dyslexic. So this is really about discovering how to support those that have this uh, challenge and thinking about what we do. So what we've done now is we've set up a, a cross-engineering institution and cross-science engineering institution and cross-research company group. Together, I think the group represents about a million engineers, scientists, mathematicians and others. And collectively what we're trying to do is to build consistent ways of helping introduce more equality, doing practical things on our websites with our forms and other things, but also raising awareness in management and others about dyslexia and how it's best managed. So over time what you'll see on our channel here on YouTube is you'll increasingly see a number of YouTube videos all targeted at helping dyslexics and non-dyslexics understand what this is about and to improve the diversity and equalities for this very important segment of our either members, our scientists, our engineers or our employees. So thank you very much.